Randall should be the one laying there, not your brother. I'm not leaving you. Behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Yes, that means the dance is over. Your funeral. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. I just needed some space. Uh, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that's shit, isn't it? How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed her trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this 
warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Why'd you go after her? Because back then, I still thought I could make a difference. After my brother... I just want to make it through another day. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I know you think Pete walks on water, but he makes mistakes too. Like what? Hiring you. <laughs> well, it's too late now. <laughs> well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Are you sure you want to do this? I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. <laughs> Well, hey there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! Easy, all right? Jesus! Little help here! Please, I need a hand! Hey, let go of me! Thank you. Why did you stop me? What are you... Why are you protecting him? You, you know what he did. He can't defend himself. Neither could my dad. You trying to be noble now, Michonne? You can't play that card after what you've done. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one who burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families, kids, never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. All the shit they had to leave behind. That was an accident. Tell that to the parents who lost their kids. He's only trying to piss you off. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I... I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please... We have to get them back. 
That's my deal, Michonne. Just do what she says. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. <laughs> so, what do you think's gonna happen next? <laughs> something on my face. The bruises aren't so bad, right? I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up. Maybe it won't matter. This has to work. That bag will help cover his injuries. Some of them, at least. She's gonna want to see his face. Maybe we can stall her. And then what? The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. <sighs> He's right. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? We're not done here. I'll watch him. Sam! <laughs> Sam, where are you taking it? ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> That's all I can give him. There will be time to bury him later. Right now, we need to focus on normal. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead. But I'm not coming with you.
I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. I was, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Careful, you don't want to shoot yourself. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said. The way he was laughing about Dad. We hurt Randall for what he did. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. Right through this. Here, Pete. Thanks. This is a mess. I can't believe how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. I didn't turn us around and lead us here. It's not your fault, Pete. You didn't know this would happen. 
Oak knew. I should have fucking listened. I think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other. But no. They're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. It doesn't... It doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. I wanted to think there were people worth helping. Careful, Pete. You're starting to sound like me. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? If Norma's coming for a fight, are we really prepared for that? These kids, they aren't up for this. Norma's not gonna stop. She may say she wants to make a deal, but I don't believe that for a second. We're gonna have to fight. I trust you. Not gonna be able to look at that the same way again. I'm fine, Michelle. Just make sure everyone else is ready when Norman comes. Right behind you. James and Alex. Wonder how they'll get through all this. Gets here, she'll bust down that little gate of yours and tune you up good. Just march on in, majestic as fuck. You can still call her off, get her to let my friends go. I'd rather eat shit out of a dead dog's ass. Don't be a stranger. Is that... music? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the 
things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. The monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No, I don't believe you. I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then you don't turn. Okay? It's not fair. It's gonna be okay, Alex. I promise. Your sister, James, they'll look out for you. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> James Fairbanks, Alex Fairbanks. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or is she still out there digging a hole in the ground? I've never seen her like this. She's, she's not thinking. Give her some space, okay? She's grieving. I know, and I wish I could give her that, but Norma's not gonna wait for her to get over her dad's death. The shit storm's coming whether we're ready for it or not. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Then stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. Here. Poor Greg.
John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. Doesn't mean much now. Oh, Michonne. I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. So... I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, uh, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. <laughs> 